like that can make it hard to break. Will it be enough for the... The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Nutley, New Jersey. Okay, so here we are. Next match, we got Rob Havoc, Dwayne Carter. So Rob Havoc picked up a victory over Blade, which you saw him in the WWE 2K16 tournament, and he lost every match. And he lost another match here, so call him the Santino Morella of Call Universe Mode all you want. I mean, who knows? But now we have Mr. Dwayne Carter, DC. He picked up a victory over Tracy Carter, which that was one hell of a freaking giant of a matchup. These two freaking huge behemoths went at it, which that was just a great match. Like I said, if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. We I created a playlist for it, so you, you should go really check the playlist this. out. It's got all and everything you need to know about Call Universe Mode in it. In which Rob Havoc, his YouTube will be in the description as well as um, True Gaming Kings, which his is the other call, obviously. In which what you should be looking at out for later on is going to be our Royal Rumble prediction show. Skill, determination, we had to do it differently this time as the last time. I think the last time that prediction show was what? TLC? That's a long time ago, so we had another one to do. Well, just wait for the predictions, which will be out later. But here is DC with a headlock. Not letting go at all. But Rob Havoc's able to break it up with a Irish whip. Ducks under. Now leaps over with a leap frog. And there's a over the back the right toss. Which that got major height on that one. Now look at Havoc. Not even letting him get up and hits him with a vertical suplex. Or a vertical souffle. As the Pope D'Angelo De Niro would say. Here's Havoc. Still on top of this matchup so far. In which, if, which one of these people? They already know who they're facing in the finals. So. In which this match. I don't know. It'd be a good match to see DC or Havoc go one on one with Curzo, which Curzo has beat everybody. I mean, beat everybody so far in the tournament and hadn't really had no trouble at all barely any damage has been inflicted been so unstoppable. Far, but this one's not over yet so hopefully one of these two that might give him a challenge look at the drop one. kick God have his look he was going in for yeah, a knockout kick but dc was like able to land the drop going. kick there's a belly to belly suplex from havoc though. look at him he's telling the fans How get on their feet but see that one guy in the striped shirt back there was just straight up booing with his thumbs down. <laughs> what the hell? Somehow he's kicked it into another gear. Nah, that's some paler DDT. Sure. Yeah. Gangrel does it. Guy with the blood coming out of his mouth. The vampire warrior. That's the dumbest gimmick ever, but he still uses it. Yeah, if you've I've seen a couple of his indie matches, exactly he still uses the gimmick. He comes match. out with the fake cup of blood and spits it all over the indie fans. There's like four rows of people. Sometimes. <laughs> Just like maybe two sometimes. But somehow he's still able to wrestle pretty good. Which is funny. He, uh, Look at this. he had a he's in full control of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a little while. After they were gone. 
Yep. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages. Look at and Dwayne Carter now. Got Havoc up. Amazing. Turns it in to a flop check. And Lars is going to go for like an attitude adjustment or something. But look at that kick though. Havoc just got kicked straight in the, the chest. The Probably can't even breathe that. What the moment. Yeah. There we go. Carter, Whatever. Here's the curb man. stomp. Carter can taste the victory now. And I swear, every time they do a move like that, it looks like they're landing on hardwood floor. And Jesus, it got hurt. I mean, come on. Man. Looks like they're both making their way back up to their feet. Look at the clothesline from freaking that. Oh my god. Looks like he was going for the RKO there. There's the gut buster. And that one looked like it hit. Jesus. He straight up denied that RKO and turned it into a gut buster. There's two. But DC is a kick out. Yeah, I don't know who's ever done that move. Unleashing it for the Darren Young. Time now. And then there was another guy from NXT who did it. He's Rob trouble. had got him going to put him up against the ropes. Now gonna Irish ship him out of the ring. If they could have had this one in the bag. I'm surprised DC kicked out of that gut buster. Oh shit. DDT to the apron. And just put him back in the ring and pin him because it's over. Get the count. One, two, three. But instead, DC just said, not gonna happen. He's made a name for himself with this. This match might be the match of the night. Five star match. It's been pretty good so far. Look at Rob Havoc, though. I mean, they are just standing toe to toe so far in this matchup. Anything somebody does, the other person so just does something even crazier yeah, right back to him. So, because like what I winner. said, there's a great. side slam He's from the top. No He's wild I think he might be going for the pin here. Could be over. One, two, and DC still kicks out. What is it going to do? Wait, what does he have to do to make the? I'm, I'm done talking. Oh, no. Massive damage done there. There you go. All right. Oh, nope. Oh, he got reversed there. DC with a reversal into a side rushing leg sweep. Oh, here we go. Might be going for that RKO. It's over. It's over. RKO. And DC moves on. Here's the count. One, two, and what the hell? He kicks out. That was surprising. I didn't expect that to happen after an RKO. Look at here. Okay, he's gonna go for that double knee gut buster again. Jesus Christ. It's over. It's gotta be. One, two, three. We have our match set for the finals. It will be Rob Havoc, Herzo, tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jesus. This match was a good one. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, Like I said, go stay tuned. Maybe the couple hours after this one comes out, we're going to have the Royal Rumble. Our Royal Rumble predictions, and then Monday, I will put out the uh, the review. Will be what I think of the show, and remember to go subscribe. I just almost killed my phone. Go subscribe to something crazy thirteen. Subscribe to me, something epic fourteen, and go subscribe to True Gaming Kings. Which you know, guys, it was Money Game Productions. It's a new one now, True Gaming Kings. That's why you know we've been trying to say something different now. So go subscribe there. Every link I've said will be in the description. So, yeah, go check them out. And like, subscribe, and comment. And get ready for the finals. And the Royal Rumble, hopefully, does not disappoint tonight. I mean, Jesus Christ. Let Bray Wyatt win. That was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. That's a big win any day of the week on any show in any arena, Michael.